I'm Mario Ferrelli from Competitor.com here with Andrew Conley from Saucony. Andrew, thanks for joining me today. No problem. We have the Saucony Kinvara 4, latest and greatest in what's become you know, a revolutionary shoe for you guys. Tell me about some of the changes to it. Yeah, so we're really excited about this update. Um, from an outsole standpoint, the tooling, uh, the blueprints of the tooling are the consistent from the 4 to the 3, but we have upgraded the midsole cushion technology from Pro Grid to Power Grid. Okay. Power Grid's a little bit lighter, a little bit more durable, and a little bit more responsive to compounds. So that's going to improve the ride of the shoe uh, a little bit incrementally over where we were with the 3. Okay. Uh, in the upper, we're continuing our flex film story, but we reduced the number of layers in the forefoot and the vamp for an even more natural feel. Uh, so the shoe should feel like even less of a shoe and still, be, still give you that smooth, responsive ride that Kinvara is known for. So is this still sort of ride that line between great everyday trainer for some and you know possible longer longer distance racing shoe for others? Yeah, absolutely. I think it depends on what kind of runner you are. Uh, I think the shoe's been around now. This is the fourth iteration, so it's certainly carved its own niche uh, in the running footwear industry. And I think, yeah, runners do all sorts of things in this shoe, and that's part of what's great about it. It's really versatile. And when is the Kinvara 4 going to hit stores? 5-1. All right, and what's it retailing for? One hundred dollars. So, right. despite the upgrades, price stays the same. All right. Thanks for joining me today. This is the no Kinvara Four. Look for it in stores next spring.